Creativity is an addiction. Look at it for what it is. Treat it for what it is. That doesn't mean you don't have to love it. No, give it, give it love. But don't let it control you in the way that you face burnout or you face boredom. You create a perfectionist. No, walk, walk away from that. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I'm sure we've talked about this a few million times. I am not a dream expert, but I will talk about the dreams and try to figure out if there is a plan or a purpose as to why we have the dreams that we do so that we can like bring down our blood pressure. Bring down the stress level. It's like because it, when you bring a dream forward, you've now given it a seed to be planted in this realm of reality that we're presently sitting in. And so I do everything I can to keep my dreams at bay. I, I don't want them here. But sometimes these dreams are so powerful that that my, my subconscious mind is saying, you got to talk about it, dude. You, you, you got to get it out there because you're not the only one that's having this dream. And, and there's going to be somebody who's going to trip across this somehow, some way. Maybe they're messing around on Google or Yahoo. And, and they're going to say, my God, I've had the same dream. How can we make our way through that storm? But I am no dream expert. And, and, but, but I do place a lot of energy in trying to understand what dreams do and why they do what they do to each and every one of us. And, and the thing is, is that I blame myself for this because my meditation is Nidra and Nidra is about letting yourself inside your thinking process, allowing all things to slip free of you. And in those moments of release, all of a sudden the mental images begin to appear inside your mind. You never go to sleep. What happens is, is that you allow the universe to move through you. And for a lot of people, that is so far over your head and I do apologize for that because I want to keep this as simple as possible every single day that we meet but if you ever want to study something about letting go of the things that are trapping you I want you to look into Nidra, N-I-D-R-A, and I want you to understand the history and the process of what Nidra is so that you can walk a more peaceful life. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. We're reading from June 9th, 2022. Monsters in my dreams last night. Monsters? That's not me. Why would I have dreams of monsters? Well, I had to do some research. And research shows it's caused by fear, it's caused by troubles, and it's caused by a disturbance. Although they don't exist in real life, these things called monsters, what they do is they reflect a disturbance. Learning how to identify the monster is the problem, though, because sitting down with my writing instrument this morning, I tried to draw out the, the picture of this monster. I couldn't because I left the monster there. I just know that I have the after effects of being face to face with a monster. Yeah, it could be the, the result of the raccoon trap outside my house. Yeah, I, I, I got a raccoon living in my attic. And, and, and here's the thing. I, I'm a, such an animal lover. I mean, big time animal lover. And, and it moved in. They, they, they replaced my roof, but they didn't replace a certain part of my roof. So that it, it moved in. And, and, and everybody's going, you got to get rid of that thing. It could have rabies. And, and so I feel like I'm a monster because I had to hire the professionals to come and get it. Well, I went out to the, to the trap today. It, it wasn't there. But that doesn't mean that all throughout the night that I wasn't thinking of myself as being a monster. And then again, it, it, it could have been caused by something else. I had a conversation with a past student yesterday who did nothing but apologize left and right about how he didn't live up to my expectations. And I kept saying, dude, listen, listen, I only wanted to help open every single door for you. That's how much I still believe in your process of personal success. I don't want you to live up to my expectations. I want you to reach beyond your expectations. And I think because he kept apologizing, it made me feel like that I was some sort of monster, even though I never raised my voice ever. I never pushed him in a situation that, that, you know, made him feel uncomfortable. He just felt like he didn't live up to my expectation. And I hope that in our conversation yesterday, he realizes that, that it wasn't about me, that it was always and still is about him and his success as a creative person. Just breathe. The monsters that we have inside of our imaginations. I know I've always said that creativity is a monster, but I've never put a face on the monster. 
I know that we say that the war in Ukraine is a monster, but that's a monster that none of us have the ability to control. The price of gas, the price of food, a lot of monsters are walking with us right now. But the question is, is how are we going to keep them where they need to be? And that is through awareness. And that's the reason why I wrote about this today, because now I've made myself aware that there are monsters, that there are things, there are disturbances, there are troubles, there are fears. Okay, now that we've identified that, we can keep them over here while we walk right here. It's almost like that movie Beautiful Mind with Russell Crowe. People were walking beside him that nobody could see. It was, it was the little inner beast inside of him. When you do have your fear, your troubles, and your disturbances, what you have to do is you have to remind yourself that I am walking on sturdy soil because I've made the choice to be on this sturdy soil. And the sturdy soil, as much as I want to bring in religion and universal powers and Native American spirituality and things like that, that that's just going to push you away. Because if you don't understand it and if you don't believe in it, it's, it's nothing but a barrier to you. So I just want you to be able to look at yourself in the mirror or just tell yourself, I'm on sturdy soil. Yes, I do have fears. Yes, I do have troubles. Yes, I do have disturbances. But that's over there. And if you get into my dreams one more time, I'm going to confront you. But not in the way that you want to be confronted, Mr. Monster. I'm going to listen to you hear your voice, try to figure out what your message is, but we got to break up. There will not be a relationship here because I am on sturdy soil. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.